We'll come back, everyone. So on the previous one, we have seen on how we'll be using the if case and what the usage is. And on this one, we're going to be just taking a look on an example, which would solidify the concepts that we have uh, mentioned on that one. So in general, if you haven't seen that one, the whole idea is how do we handle a condition in a programming or in general, like in this case, we're going to be just using like the flowchart, but in general, like how do we handle when we have like a condition that we have to check and based on the outputs of like the condition, to proceed or not to proceed or to proceed with a different kind of scenario. So in this one, uh, we're going to see a simple example where we're going to be just accepting a name from the user. And if the name is provided, then we're going to greet uh, with hello. And then when name is like the name that we have got from, from the user. Otherwise, like we're going to print, please provide a name to proceed. All right, so as usual, we're going to be just starting with this. And I'm going to say start and probably somewhere for later usage i'm going to be just having it over here okay. now the first thing is we want to uh, show for the user is we want to ask for his or her name uh, please provide name and we're going to be just show we're going to be just having their name on a variable called name now, here is the thing. So if the name has been provided, meaning if the user has provided his or her name, then we're going to be just proceeding uh, with the greeting message of like, hello, and then the name provided. If not, we're going to be just uh, showing that we have to provide a name to proceed, which is like an error message. In order to do that, then we have to evaluate the variable name, if the variable name has been provided or not. So for this, then this is where we're going to be just using like a diamond and we're going to be just using on this one and then ask a question over here, which is, uh, is a name, what can I say? Black. Meaning uh, if the name is blank, what it means is the user hasn't provided the name and this has exactly two outputs. Meaning like we can have one output, which is saying a true, that is, this is returning false. When you are asking like, is the name blank or not, then you're going to have like exactly two outputs, whether it is, yes, it is a blank or no, it's not a blank. So in this case, let's assume that it is a true statement, which is meaning the, the name that has been provided is blank. The user hasn't provided anything. So in that case, we're going to be just putting like this message which is please provide name to it, all right? So we do this one and then from here, then that would be the end of the game on this one, all right? That is the first part, but we're not done yet because the user have, might have also provided his or her name. Then in that case, we're going to be just greeting them accordingly and that we're going to say, hello, then we're going to say name. All right, and then we're going to be going to this one and from here we're going to be just going to this one and then we are done. What it means is we are going to be just starting over here uh, with the name and uh, with, the, with asking for the name from the user and then we're going to be just checking if the name has been actually be provided or not by checking if it's going to be a true or false. So here we have like a false that we missed out. So um, if the name is not blank, that means it's going to be just um, a false one, then it's going to be a hello and then we're going to be just uh, greet that and then we're going to uh, get out. Um, the other, you know, just you can, there is no like a hard and fast rule on this one. You could have asked like the other way as well. You could have said is a name different from, or just simply not, not blank. Meaning in this case, the user has actually provided, of course, in that case, going to just change it. That's going to be true over here. And this one is going to be just a false, all right? So depending on like the why you have asked it, of course, like the output's going to be just changing. And then in this case, what we have asked it is, is name not blank, meaning the user has actually provided something. In that case, it's going to be just a true statement. So we're going to say hello, and then we're going to end. If not, then we're going to be just taking this route. Right. So this is how we're going to be just using in a very simple scenario of using like the if case in a flowchart. So on the next one, we're going to be just taking a look on additional and more examples using like the condition in flowchart. Uh, thank you for watching and then I'm going to see you on the next video.